What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel for another review, and today we're having a look at the winner of the latest poll, and that's the Amity Texture Spray from Sheer Revival. So I wanted to get this video out early uh, because this weekend my wife and I are going to be away. We are going to PAX East in Boston, so if any of y'all are going to be at PAX East and you happen to see us, be sure to say hi. Now, I know some of you have been itching for this Amity review, and I've been using this for a while. I mean, it doesn't look like it because the bottle is still very full, but I've been using this for a while, so I'm very well acquainted with it. So let's crack right into this bitch and get started. <sighs> so if you're wondering what is Amity exactly? This is She Revival's Matte Finish Light Hold Texture Spray, and as far as the packaging is concerned, this comes in this absolutely massive 8 ounce or 227 gram amber glass jar with the spray top. And this one is going to set you back just $18 US. And then, of course, you know, shipping on top of that and whatever. But yeah, 18 bucks for this big ass bottle. So just, I wanted to read, there's a little nice blurb about the product on their website and some information about what they've got in there. So I'm just gonna read that before we get into the exciting things like scent and all that. So from the brand, it says, Amity is a new take on the everyday sea salt spray using a combination of sea salt from the Atlantic Ocean and Australian Kaolin clay, our spray adds tons of texture, volume, and structure to your look. Using aloe leaf juice and witch hazel as our base carrier not only makes your hair and scalp stay hydrated, but witch hazel aids in promoting healthy hair growth and slowing down hair loss. Now this actually is made of 100% plant and mineral derived ingredients, and they do also mention because of the clays and stuff, this will settle and separate, so you do want to make sure you shake a bitch before you use it. So we've got light hold, matte finish, hand blended, and an all natural sage and bergamot scent, which we about to get into. So yeah, let's let's get right into that scent. <laughs> oh, fucking herbaceous. Oh, yeah. Spraying it was a bad idea. My nose is tickling now and I might sneeze, but that smell is great. It's very, oh God, the nose tickle. It is, you get a little bit of citrusy and that like earthy, just herbiness from the sage. And it's just really clean. Um, of course, once you get it into the hair and you've styled with it, it's gonna go away. It's a very light, obviously very natural scent, um, but as you're spraying it in initially, it just is quite nice, especially if you're using it in the morning. Now, into the ingredients, as I mentioned, these, this is made of 100% uh, plant and mineral-based stuff. So the entire ingredient list here, we've got aloe leaf juice and witch hazel as the base that they mentioned, magnesium sulfate, glycerin, PEG40, hydrogenated castor oil, polysorbate 20, Atlantic sea salt, Kale and clay, marula oil, bamboo extract, and therapeutic grade essential oil blend. So we know that kale and clay is going to add that texture and a bit of dryness and fullness to the hair. Um, aloe leaf juice is just, you know, basically a nicer version of water that's just going to be a little bit more um, hydrating for your hair and scalp. Now, I also want to read here, they, just, they did mention... Um, a couple other things with a couple of the key ingredients. So it, along with the aloe, they also mentioned that it is a dandruff preventative for your scalp. The marula oil is a UV protectant and offers cellular regeneration properties for healthy hair growth. And the bamboo extract provides strength and elasticity for, to your two, four, two, the hair follicles. So yeah, with all of that being said, now we can go into the demo footage. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention, as a person with thick, coarse, wavy hair. Uh, items like this, texture sprays, sea salt sprays, mousses, you know, stuff like that for me typically are a bit too dry, especially like straight up sea salt sprays for me. Um, they, most of them, not all of them, but most of them tend to make my hair feel a bit too dry. And, and if I use them alone, uh, that leads me to that kind of tangly ends, like my hair is just too thick and too coarse feeling. Um, so with this, that is kind of a thing. I mean, so this has both sea salt and the kale and clay in there. So it does have quite a, you know, a dry clay-like texture to it. Now I have tested this on its own. And while it does give me a bit of dryness and a little bit too much texture because of the coarseness of my hair. Um, it's not bad. It's it's not as drying as several other sea salt sprays and things that I've used. 
Um, but with that being said, my preferred method to use this is to first prep my hair with some type of smoothing solution as a base. So it doesn't matter what type of smoothing solution you like, but you can use, you don't have to use a lot, you know, you just use a little bit. So for me, that's like a couple spritzes of 25 spray or maybe like a half a pump of smoothing serum or smoothing lotion or whatever. So. With all that being said, let's actually go into the demo footage now. So here we are, we're starting out with freshly washed hair, which obviously is still hella damp. So yeah, I'm starting out with a few spritzes of 25 spray as my smoothing base, as I mentioned, and then we're going in with about four pumps of the texture spray. Now, this is something that obviously you're gonna have to experiment with depending on how much you wanna use, how much texture do you want, how much can your hair take? So for me, three to four pumps is plenty, which, is why even though I've been using this for weeks, it looks like I haven't even put a dent in the bottle yet. So after working those into the hair and combing them through just to make sure everything is nice and evenly distributed as per usual, we're gonna go ahead, blow dry a bitch, and here we are with the final results. Yes! Get texturized, bitch. No, seriously, like look at that volume and that texture. It's just, wonderful. It's exactly what this thing advertised, and I honestly, I think the hold is a little bit stronger than a light hold. I mean, I could leave this by itself. Of course, it does have some movement to it, as you can see, and really, it's just, it creates like the perfect base for your hairstyle. So then I can just go in with, you know, a small amount of whatever finishing product I decide to use for that day, and my hairstyle is just gonna be locked in. So, I mean, I still have it in right now, and I, I just finished up the style today with literally like one dime-sized scoop of some Earth-made clay pomade that I've been fucking around with. Review for that bitch coming soon. Um, and as you can see, she looks tight. Like, it just, the volume, it feels so lightweight, but my hair feels so like structurally sound um, and the texture is great. And obviously it didn't add any extra shine or anything. It's got that nice matte finish. And once you've finished blow drying it, now, I, you know, I mentioned I need the smoothing base because with the dryness of the salt and the grippiness and whatever, it can get a little bit too much for me. But if I use the smoothing base first, that grippiness is just the right amount that it's like great for gripping and styling with the brush while you're blow drying and stuff. And once you're done and it's settled into the hair, you can still feel the kind of grittiness of the clay, which is what you want, but it feels nice and smooth now. Like it does not feel too dry. It does not feel too coarse. It honestly, like it feels fucking great to be honest with you. Um, and I think it looks pretty awesome. So I didn't do an endurance test on this because it is really a pre-styler. Now, of course, if you wanted to do like beach waves or something, you could also spray this into damp hair, just scrunch it in and then just leave it to air dry as well if you didn't feel like blow drying. And as you might expect, as far as the washout is concerned, I mean, it, it's an aloe-based pre-styler, so it, it's gonna come out no bother at all. All right, so overall thoughts. Ooh, that's a little scary. That jar is heavy. And if it landed on my bare foot, that would have been a bad time. Overall thoughts on the Amity Texture Spray from She Revival. This spray is the absolute tits. I, it's just great. It works exactly how they want it to work. And I'm super stoked that this is, you know, essentially a, a sea salt, well, it's more than a sea salt spray, but it it's one that I can use and doesn't make my hair feel like fucking straw, which is wonderful. Yeah, it's, um, Big volume, big texture, the the base of like hold that it sets up to just get your hairstyle like locked in is just perfection. The smell is great. And I mean, it, it's gonna last me forever because this bottle is massive. Dig the packaging. I, I like a nice sturdy glass bottle like this. And of course the, the labeling and everything is nice. We've got that little metallic kind of sinking ship thing. It's just, it's very on brand. It's like very sheer revival. And I like that. And I mean, 18 bucks, like for this big ass bottle, like you can't beat that, seriously. So yeah, if you had any qualms or concerns about getting this, just don't get it. It's fucking stellar. So that wraps things up for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Please do stay tuned. We've got more, just lots of stuff coming. So I'm sure I'll have more polls for, you know, what review you guys want to see next. So please stay tuned for that button down below to subscribe if you want to. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one.